My name is Jamie Kickleiter and I'm a collections archivist here at the Alabama Department of Archives and History. Today we're going to look at a scrapbook that documents the life and career of Arthur Shores, a civil rights attorney and politician from Birmingham. The scrapbook is among the largest in our collection and contains 269 pages. It includes mostly newspaper clippings, but also correspondence, photographs, certificates, and other memorabilia that Shores collected during his life. This item tells us, through one man's experience, how African American Alabamians fought for and eventually won more legal rights and greater involvement in state politics, despite oppression and physical violence directed against them. Arthur Shores was a Birmingham native. He was born there in 1904 and worked for a few years in education as a teacher and principal at Dunbar High School in Bessemer. Shores had to turn to out-of-state programs for his law degree, since no Alabama law program admitted black students at that time. After he finished his law degree, Shores passed the Alabama bar and decided to practice in Birmingham, where he set up shop in 1939. At that time, he was the first African American to pass the Alabama bar in about 20 years. He also became the first African American attorney in Alabama to represent his clients in the courtroom personally, rather than through a white lawyer. Shores was widely regarded as a brilliant attorney. He worked on behalf of the NAACP for many of his cases and represented iconic civil rights figures like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We can follow his career through the scrapbook as it includes coverage of some of his most famous cases on a variety of issues, from residential zoning to voting rights. For example, there's coverage of Shores' defense of Will Hall, a black labor leader who was assaulted by a white police officer. Against all odds, Shores managed to get a conviction against the police officer. That same year, for the first time in Birmingham's history, all African Americans who registered to vote in the June registration window were approved after Shores began legal proceedings against the Board of Registrars. Some of Shores' highest profile cases are also documented in the scrapbook, including what is perhaps his most well-known case, his defense of Arthur and Lucy, who briefly desegregated the University of Alabama in 1956. Here we can see Lucy's application for admission to the university, as well as correspondence and clippings documenting Shore's initial success in getting Lucy admitted, her attendance for a few days, and her ultimate expulsion. Aside from his full legal career, Shores was also very politically active, especially within the Alabama Democratic Party. He helped found the Jefferson County Negro Democratic Club and had ambitions to hold office himself. He attempted to run for a seat in the state legislature in 1942, but the Democratic Party and the Secretary of State denied his application for candidacy because he was black. Coverage of this attempt to run for office along with a reprint of Shore's application for candidacy are found in the scrapbook. Although his initial bid for political office was unsuccessful due to racism, Shores became the first black person to serve on the Birmingham City Council when he was appointed to fill a vacancy in 1968. As the clippings in the scrapbook attest, this event was widely covered and regarded as a major historical first. Starting that same year, Shores was chosen several times to represent Alabama at the Democratic National Convention. His delegate tickets for the 1972 DNC are included in the scrapbook. Throughout his career working in civil rights, Shores often found himself to be the target of anger and sometimes violence. His home was bombed several times, but fortunately nobody in his family was hurt. Shores was physically attacked once in a courthouse corridor in 1939 after the Will Hall trial. He was charged with disorderly conduct for fighting, along with the three men who assaulted him, but found not guilty by reason of self-defense. Despite all of these attacks, Shores continued fighting for the rights of black people, especially those living in his home city and state. The scrapbook is such a special item because it offers contemporaneous coverage of Shore's life and career through items that he collected. It shares the inspiring story of Shore's success and courage and documents how he rose from being denied the right to run for political office to being invited to President Kennedy's inauguration. And yes, the inauguration invitation is also in the scrapbook. <laughs>